Okay, so let's put your math skills to work on solving this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. Don's 3% commission was $547 for selling five widgets. What is the price of one widget? Okay, so that is the question. But uh, before we kind of move on, let's make sure all of you out there understand these words commission and widget because some of you might be confused and I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem. Okay, so a commission is a way that salespeople typically uh, earn their pay. Okay, so in this particular example, let's suppose one person wanted five widgets. Okay, they're like, hey, I'd like to uh, buy five widgets and Don is so gracious, he sells this person and this on, on buying these five widgets. So this person spends this amount of money to get these uh, five widgets, right? Now, Don is going to earn 3% of how much he sold, okay? So, of course, that would be the amount somebody is willing to pay for these five widgets. That is his paycheck, and uh, it, that uh, represents this amount right here, $547. So that was his 3% commission. Uh, that's how much he earned for selling uh, these five widgets. Okay, now what is a widget? A widget is nothing more than a fictitious product. It could be whatever you want it to be. And uh, for purposes of this problem, uh, we need to assume that each of these widgets costs the same amount. Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. And if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the right answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so now that we understand the question, let's go ahead and see how much one of these widgets cost. And the right answer is approximately $3,646.67. So, wow, I mean, Don is really doing uh, good work, you know, at his job. He got somebody to spend uh, this amount of money for one widget. Now, he didn't sell one widget. He sold five widgets, and, of course, he made... $547 for, do, uh, for doing so. But uh, wow, you mean like what item could cost this amount? I have no idea. Maybe it's some sort of TV that has uninterrupted uninterrupt, uh, math videos or whatever the <laughs> whatever you're thinking. They're like, no, I would not spend $3,646 on a TV that uh, delivers math videos. I'll just watch you on YouTube for free. I like that as well. But uh, anyways, if you figure this out, we have to celebrate by giving a nice little happy face and A+. Plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of percent because this problem is pretty much more or less all about your uh, ability to solve percent problems. Now, if there's any one thing that you truly want to understand in mathematics, that is percent because it affects all areas of our life. Just imagine or just think about how often you see this symbol, this percent symbol. I mean, we pretty much see this all day long. And you walk to the store, there's things on sale. You know, you're watching the news about inflation, interest rates, on and on and on. So you definitely have to understand percent. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the solution to this problem. And this is not that difficult. Of course, you need to know a thing or two about percent. All right, so we're dealing with a math word problem, and the first thing that uh, you always want to do when you're dealing with a math problem or math word problem is uh, use the rule of three. In other words, read the problem at least three times before you start doing anything. So, of course, I already explained the problem. And by the way, if you don't understand what a particular uh, word means, if you let's suppose you're doing your homework, you gotta look it up. You're like, oh, I don't understand commission. Well, just don't, you know, uh, be lost. You have to understand what the terms and nouns and verbs mean. And for those, um, uh, for those of you that are students, make sure to raise your hand. Okay, teachers are, you know, love it when students raise their hands. So we're like, raise your hand and say, hey, teacher, I don't understand this. I don't understand that. Have them clarify a problem. 
But anyways, we know exactly what's going on here as we kind of went over this problem at the beginning of this video. But uh, what do we do next? Well, we need a strategy and a great way to come up with a strategy to solve a problem is to try to model it or visualize it. So let's go ahead and take a look at a particular uh, way that I'm gonna visualize this problem. And this is the great thing about math. The way I am um, going to model the problem can be totally different than the way you might model the problem. And that's okay, as long as it helps us, you know, understand how to solve the problem. Okay, so here is our five widgets. Here's Don, and he sold five widgets. He's doing a fantastic uh, job uh, at his work. And uh, again, he made $547 because he got 3% of the profit. Oop, I kind of made a typo there. So there was a certain amount of profit for these five widgets, right? So each of these widgets cost a certain amount and somebody uh, took out their credit card and they said, okay, I'm gonna have this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm willing to pay this amount of money. That was the profit. And Don got 3% of that amount of money and it was $547. So really, uh, in order to figure out what the uh, price of one widget is, okay, we first probably want to figure out how much did somebody spend on these five widgets because that's how much Don got paid for, right? So Don uh, got paid for selling five widgets. And effectively, this is more or less a percent problem, okay? So what we're going to try to figure out is $547 is, uh, or actually I'm going to read it this way, 3% of what number, okay, or what profit, right? So 3% of what number is $547. So I'll read this again. 3% of some value, okay, of course that was the profit, is $547. So let's go ahead and kind of write this in a more um, kind of a clear way. So 3% of what number is 547 all right, so this is a percent problem. Now, we're gonna review percent uh, very quickly here, but uh, for those of you that feel like you are a percent expert, there's different ways you could approach this problem. As long as you can answer the, this uh, question um, effectively and without guessing, whatever technique you use is perfectly fine. But of course, you need to be able to answer a problem like this, right? So 3% of what number is 547? Well, let's go ahead and do a quick review of percent. So let's suppose um, I asked you 3% of 70 is what? Well, most of you would break out your calculator, but what are you gonna do? Well, this is how you uh, find, a per uh, find the percent of a number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this percent to a decimal. Okay, now how do we do that? Well, basically what we're gonna do is divide by 100, but effectively that's the same thing as moving the decimal point over uh, two places to the left. So if you have 3% or 3.0%, when you divide by 100, what ends up happening is the decimal point moves over two places to the left, so that's 0.03. Okay, so hopefully most of you uh, knew this, but if you didn't know this, I'll give you some suggestions as we walk through, the, uh, through this video on um, how to you know, improve your percent skills, et cetera, et cetera. But 3%, we want to write that as a decimal. So that's going to be uh, equivalent to 0 0.03. And then all we're going to do is multiply by the number. So 3% of 70, we're going to multiply 3% as a decimal times 70. So 0 0.03 times 70 in our calculator is basically 2.1. Okay, so this is how we find the percent of a number. And if you can kind of remember this uh, process or this model, well, we can uh, apply this to this problem right here. And we're going to use some basic algebra. I love solving percent problems using algebra. It's just so easy. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. And again, if you solve this problem using a different technique, that's perfectly fine as long as you are not guessing. All right, now let's just look at this sentence. 3% of what number is 547? Now, a number, what number? Well, we can think of this as just some number x. So x just is a variable, okay? In algebra, that just represents a number. Don't be afraid of this variable, uh, you know, things like this in math, uh, like in algebra. People, oh my goodness, I'm using uh, x, y, z. No, no, just relax. This right here just represents a number. But we know that 3% of this mystery number, and we'll call it x, is now, um, when you're translating a uh, verbal, 
uh, math question into an algebraic math question, anytime you see the word is, it is equal to, is or is equal to. So we're just kind of translating these things one at a time. So 3%, of course, we're going to remember to find the percent of a number, you're going to write this as a decimal. That's going to be 0 0.03. And then we're going to multiply it by this number, this mystery number, which is x is or is equal to 547. So what we have here is just a basic algebraic equation. All right, so 0 0.03 times this mystery number x is or is equal to 547. So now all we need to do is solve this basic algebra equation. 0.03x is equal to 547. So how do we solve this? Well, uh, basically, this is just literally one step. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0.03. And we go into our calculator, 547 divided by 0 0.03. We're going to get approximately 18,233.33. Okay, so what does this represent? Well, this is how much five widgets cost. Not one widget, that's five widgets. All right, so now that we know the price of five widgets, you can see this is gonna be pretty easy to determine the price of one widget. So let's gonna take the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I wouldn't interrupt this lovely math video uh, if it wasn't that important. I need your support, so I'm asking you uh, to hit this because I need uh, as, uh, as much help as I can get to reach as many people as I possibly can that need help in mathematics or just interested in math. So by you subscribing, okay, it really does help that YouTube algorithm push out, uh, you know, my videos to more uh, more folks. Now at the time of this video, I am so fortunate. I have like 510,000 subscribers. That's crazy to me. But I literally look at uh, all my subscribers. I think of them. I think of you if you are a subscriber. Thank you so much if you are and if you are going to become a subscriber. But I think of you as like my uh, student. And that's the way I, I view it. So every time I make a math video, I take it really you know seriously because I am trying to provide a lot of value for those of you that are willing to part with your time to watch me. Okay, but if you're gonna subscribe, you might as well hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's get back to the problem. So now that we know that uh, five of these widgets cost this amount, 18,233, and we solved um, how we got there by solving this percent problem, I mean, this is pretty straightforward, right? So Don sold five, uh, five widgets for um, $18,233.33. Uh, How much was the price of one widget? Well, if you're thinking, hey, Mr. YouTube, uh, YouTube Math Man, just take this number and divide it by five, well, you are thinking uh, in uh, the right way, right? So $547 was Don's commission, and that represented 3% of the total value of these five widgets. So uh, all five widgets, of course, again, cost this amount of money. So we're just simply gonna divide that by five and we get this amount right here, more or less, $3,646.67. And of course, I'd round it off a bit as well. Okay, now uh, some of you might be thinking, well, boy, I really need some help on percent. Well, here is a couple of suggestions for you. Now, if you want to kind of relearn basic math, but you you know you don't have a lot of time, or if you know you can, you, know, you don't want to just kind of you know spend months and months learning mathematics. Well, you might want to check out my Math Foundations course. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. It's a little mini course. It's a math boot camp course that reviews the most basic, critically important uh, skills that everybody should know to include percent, fractions, place value. Uh, things like that, uh, and uh, you got to understand it's just for practical everyday mathematics. Now, I just came out with a new course called my Math Skills Rebuilder course, and that's for those of you that you know kind of want to take your math to a uh, different level. And some of you knew a lot of math back in the, in the good old days, but you forgot a lot of stuff because it's been many years, or maybe some of you didn't do as well as you'd like to have done in school. But uh, in my Math Skills Rebuilder course, I, t I start off with basic mathematics uh, to include percent, fractions, all that kind of good stuff. And I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, a little bit of trigonometry, and even some probability and statistics. So that is a great course for uh, some of you out there that are just, you know, maybe 
uh, want a kind of hobby, you want to kind of spend some time improving your math skills at a pace that's comfortable for you. But you'll find links to those and other courses in the description. But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.